Okay. And now for the easy part of the level. Because now I have Van de Graaff! <laughs> oh, sweet! Yes! That, those lasers were just there to make you shit yourself. You don't actually have to dodge them. Hey, hey, My hey. Vandegraaff is better! Nice and beauty! Stun gun is so badass. <laughs> What's going to be on that big door? Gee, I wonder. Oh. I think those are. And I forgot to read the objectives. Yes. Find Kerr. We already did that. And activate the three power generator for Dr. Kerr's Deodon probe. Ew. Black Ops response teams are monitor monitoring power output. They will investigate unexpected power spikes. So I guess that means every time I turn one of these on, bad guys are going to show up. Right. Great. And... Almost lost the Vandegraaff in that guy's body. Now then. Uh, yes, his body nearly ate it mm -hmm. post mortem. And that reminds me of another thing. As soon as I pick up. Dude, this small weapon swapping. I wish Knoko could carry more than one gun at a time. Like one in the hand, one in the pocket, and, uh. Diary. There's actually a secret diary entry for it's like if you. What's weird is that this diary entry right here, right here, is you unlock it when you get to level when you get to uh, t when you get to like way back in level six as soon as you get this move, but this diary entry is actually for this level, which is weird. <clears throat> I think the game developers made a mistake. Now I know why my dad was driven, but I don't know why he disappeared. What was he working on? The technology in his lab was unlike anything I'd ever seen before. What's the big secret that everyone doesn't want me to discover? It sounds like my mom was brave. She didn't let people push her around. She fought for what she knew was right. I won't do any less. Note to self, no more pizza before bed. Ugh, nightmares. But I like pizza before bed. Bed. Nightmares that can kill you. Was that a- Freddy Krueger. And yeah, you go walking on your merry way. I'll zap you. Just a little closer. Hey Chuck, do you hear that? <laughs> Don't you dare go for that gun. <laughs> so do you can! As, uh, as our friend Mage Knight likes to call that move. I've never played Street Fighter, nor do I intend to. Street Fighter, uh, well, well, all those fighting games, it seemed kind of like... Hi, nice it's, lady. It's kind Hi, of, nice lady. It's kind of like if you, like, took the all, like, the, the full total gameplay of, like, something, uh, I don't know. It's like... Lots of fighting, no story. Rocky likes to story, end of story. And, and the running oh, around here, and the exploring and the platforming and stuff. Awesome, I love scientists! Fighting games are to, uh, what's it? Fight, fight, beat em up, get those beat em up, get those arcade beat em up games are to. I'm gonna wait for you. Beat em up, uh, anyways, what was I saying? Arcade beat em up games are to only like arcade point, point and click shooter games are to Half Life. Am I making my point here? You gotta have, like, a whole bunch of elements in the game in order to make it, well, a game that I like to play. That guy's fist is, like, bigger than his gun. You don't get to turn around! <laughs> I like it when all three hits of the, of the sledgehammer heal hit the guy after he's dead, and I still get the hit flash. <laughs> first generator on, and consequently, first guy to ambush my ass. Where is he? I know you're coming. 
I hear your footsteps. There you are. You can't block a two-handed gun. <laughs> Wasn't that great? You should dance to that, man. Boom, 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 Face cloak, face cloak. We don't need it. Okay. Now, uh, where are you? Friendly. Hi. You need this force field. It'll help you. Oh, awesome! Fem scientists rock. They give you the best stuff. Second ambush. Let's see. Ain't coming from here. Ain't coming from there. Um. Waiting for you. I know you're coming. There you are. Oh. Watch the pretty lights flash. She is the color girl. <laughs> and yes, I'm actually low on health. I might as well just he low on health. Health. I may as well. I may as well inject this hypo. Yeah, I need to get used to my two teeth. Did I mention I got new teeth? She is Rafi McMutton Chomper now. Yes, I am Rafi McMutt McMutton Chomper. And now we talk good, yeah. Sometimes. <laughs> when I remember that I have 28 teeth as opposed to just 10. You got, yeah, dude, 18 new teeth. Yeah. There you are. He's like, where did she go? Oh, whoa. Oh, bam, bam, bam. Anyways, now for kicking your ass. Serious stuff. Okay. The time of revelation. What the hell is Kanoko? And also, my and also, uh, uh, she's a bow tie wearing. Yes. Indian. Well, yes. What the hell is Kanoko? Let's find out. Hello, Uncle. Get into the chair. Is this absolutely necessary? Yes. You've been out of contact since Shinatama was kidnapped. And I need to know what's going on inside you. All right. Now this may sting a bit. Taking a look at the chrysalis and testing to see how far its integration with your body has progressed, you're stable, but transformation is farther along than I had anticipated. What does that mean? What's happening to me? How much do you know already? My birth name is Mai Hasegawa. You worked with my father, but I don't know what you were working on. The Deoden Chrysalis. You see, your father believed that the only way to save the human race from the poisonous atmosphere was to change them so they could adapt to the new world. Shinatana said that you used her to monitor the growth of the chrysalis. Is there one of those things inside me? Yes. What is it doing? The chrysalis is the hyper-evolved clone of its host body. And as the host experiences stress or harm, it grows to reinforce or replace the body's damaged system. I knew it! She's a Wolverine Chimera! Awesome. Where are her metal spikes? Oh, I guess they Who didn't did this explain to me? them. You? Griffin forced me to do it. Griffin? But why? Your father and I were criminals, funded by the Syndicate. We couldn't get backing from any legitimate source. They, they left us alone for the most part. We didn't think they were interested in our work. We were wrong. Go on. They had been watching us very closely. And when they figured out what the chrysalis was, they raided our lab. Now, we'd only grown two prototypes based on the genetic codes of you and your brother. My brother? Murrow. 
You gotta be kidding. The Syndicate captured your father and Merle. Now, we had never intended to implant those chrysalises. Well, they had other plans. Where was I? I managed to escape with you. I took you to the TCTF. There was no other way to ensure your safety. And Griffin forced you to implant mine. Why? Insurance? Yes. Now, we weren't sure what kind of mutation the prototypes would produce. Griffin wanted to make sure we had a match for any weapon the Syndicate ended up with. Oh, he's a cold-hearted man. He makes you work for him, doesn't he? Yes, but it's all right. You have been my only project, and I owe it to you to look after you however I can. Murrow and his men, they're monsters. What am I? You are who you have always been. The chrysalis can't change that. The effect of the mutation is influenced by the subject's nature. What? You are changing into a more powerful, resilient version of yourself. But whatever your final form, it is an expression of your true nature. Target acquired. It's her. Dude, she had an energy cheat! What? What the hell, Kerr? You'll pay for that. You'll all pay. <laughs>